What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video. It's your boy Chanel Pro. Before I start the clip, I want to tell you guys that one of my best friends is giving away $100 to the first 100 subscribers. So, yeah, guys, you will literally will receive $100 for free. So, you can just click that button and you'll be good. I hope you guys get lucky. So, you guys, this link's going to be in my description down there or around down here in my screen. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next clip. <clears throat> Yo, what up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to refill your disposable vape of any kind. All you gotta do simply is have some juice laying around that you can use. Have something you could take the cotton piece out. And you just gotta make sure you can take this top piece off, guys. Um I personally, the way I take off this top piece is basically, sometimes they're harder to take off. And what I'll do is I'll literally um, put it against something. I'll put it against something here. Let me show you guys for an example of what I would do. So I'm not gonna put it in all the way cause I'm not trying to, you know, get it stuck for now. But you would just put it against something and you would just go like this really hard and you would get it off eventually, you know, just pop right off. That's how you take the top piece off. It might seem like it's like impossible to come off, but I can assure you guys it's not glued on there or nothing. It's just pressed in really hard. All right, so let's get right into the video, guys. This is what you want to do. You just want to simply put something in there in that little hole and grab this little rubber piece out. All right. I don't know. There's something in the vape, but it's all right. Whatever. It's not bothering me. Um, but yeah, you just put something inside of there and you basically just take it out. So I'm gonna use this. And let's see. All right, let me just take that out. All right, I got it out. All right, so all you do, you take it out, and that's what it's gonna be looking like. You guys can see the cotton right there, the coil. Let me zoom into it. Still got a bit of juice in there, but we're gonna add more because it's starting to taste a little funny, and we're not trying to get to the point where it tastes burnt, you know? So simply guys, what you wanna do is now you grab your vape juice. Let me unzoom out real quick. You grab your vape juice. You wanna open it up, obviously. And you just wanna put juice on the sides right here. You wanna put some juice on the side. Make sure you're not putting the vape juice inside of that hole. Make sure you don't do that. And you guys don't want to really um, put too much vape juice, but you could put a decent amount in there. All right, now let's get some on this side. Anywhere that it's white, guys, just put it on that. I'll just put a little bit more, but that's what it's looking like right now. Pretty prime. Just add a little tiny bit more. I'll put some on the sides. Oops, I got a little bit inside, but it's all right. As long as you're not pouring a lot of juice inside of there, you're good. Because what will happen is the cotton will basically just end up being soaked. But in this case, the cotton kind of just absorbs the juice from or the coil kind of there's two different cottons guys there's a cotton on on the coil and this is your cotton the other one you're using so basically what happens is that cotton that's on the coil it absorbs the juice that's on this cotton and that's what gives you the vapor obviously you know um yeah i could show you guys what what's under there but it's gonna be on a different video guys i'm not trying to take this cotton out for now but basically hold on let me try to zoom in on here Basically, there's another cotton underneath there. See that little thing? There's another cotton that's being absorbed by this cotton. So we're good now, guys. I just refilled it. Just wanna pop your top piece right back on. That's what I'm gonna do. 
and simply if you guys want to just put this top piece on full you just want to push it against something you know it don't really matter but let's take a hit real quick and see how it tastes i'm actually going to give it a few seconds here guys probably give it like five ten seconds guys just for the juice to kind of fully absorb into the cotton but anyway this is a lush ice it's really good guys it's by ludo um i personally don't really smoke ludo vape ludos anymore i'm sorry i actually switched to the elf bar which are an amazing brand if you guys want to go check them out go to elfbar.com you must be 21 years or older to purchase them or watch this video right but yeah um i did a review on a couple flavors of the elf bar on my page if you want to go check it out go ahead guys it's on there but anyway this vape should be good now guys let's try this it used to be lush ice but now it's wild berries so let's give it a shot guys Definitely tastes like wild berries, and it tastes really good. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. If you ever have a disposable vape and it's kind of getting burnt or whatever, you know, you're not really tasting all that, all that juice anymore. Simply buy yourself a bottle of vape juice, you know, and you guys can refill your disposable vapes anytime you please, guys. Like after I run out of disposables, after I run out of um juice inside of my disposables, I always be doing this method right here. I'll save so much money, guys. Instead of going have buy, going to have to buy a new vape, that's what you guys can do, you know. But like I said again, I don't I don't vape on the Ludos. I'd be vaping on um, Elf Bars. They last a lot a lot longer, you know. They're much easier to refill. The top piece just comes right off, you know. It's much easier to take off. I'm not gonna take mine off, but it's much easier. Well, honestly, if you guys want to see what it's under what's under here, I can show you. I haven't ever took this one off before, guys. On this one, but. That's why it's a little harder to take off at first, but you just basically pop it off. That's what it looks like on the inside. All right. All right, cool. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, peace.